just starting, like the first little lines. There's gonna be a wave right here with the mountains. Here at Chingyun Village Shopping Center in Hanalei, Kauai, Moses Hamilton is a well-known person. Going by the nickname Mo, you can usually find him chatting with shoppers or painting art for everyone to enjoy. Well, I paint here in Hanalei like three, four days a week. Uh, and then I also paint a lot at my home. I get a very good reaction to my art. I think it's a very fun and active style. It's very alive, full of color and a lot of island feel. I've always been good at art, and, and yeah, but it didn't become the way he made his life until after he was injured. Life took a dramatic turn for Moses and his family when he got into a car accident on a late October night. I was driving home on a wet night after work and lost control of my vehicle, and then I woke up two or three days later and I'd been paralyzed, and I was told by the doctors I probably wouldn't move much of my body below my chest anymore. Life was pretty dark, and you know, I did at times wonder if I still wanted to be alive. It was a real life-changing thing for my whole family and for me. It taught me that all things are possible if we just really try. Maybe you won't walk. A lot of ways in Mo's art, he walks. He doesn't have a paralyzed mind. He isn't paralyzed. The sunset, I gotta look at some photos. This car accident left him in a rehabilitation hospital for three months. During his stay there, he was introduced to mouth painting. We have the Pacific, which is in Honolulu, and there was an art program, Louis Vuitton art program. There was all sorts of people with disabilities painting. The teacher talked me into trying a painting. A year and a half after being home from the rehab hospital, I was starting to feel healthier and ready to move on with my new life, and uh, I started with some simple little paintings. Thank you, Nara, thank you. Moses had to overcome many obstacles to get where he is today. Being disabled is a very rough road and it takes a lot of philosophy and a lot of power of will to overcome your day-to-day -day experience of being stuck in a wheelchair, not being able to move your body and being dependent on others. Live life with perseverance, you gotta have patience for the things you want, and you gotta practice at the goals and the things you wanna achieve. And you also gotta pursue it all with passion. Since his accident, Moses had to be dependent on others for help. This taught him many life lessons, including gratitude and humbleness. My car wreck was a very humbling experience. I was kind of an egotistical and brash. I felt like I was unstoppable at times, being a very strong young man. The reality is how frail and fragile only not only our bodies are, but how quick and fleeting life is. It can change in a second. Live with an attitude of gratitude, be gracious, and love the things you have in life. Don't get caught up on what you don't have. Within our society, everyone wants so many new things. They forget to just focus on the day-to-day -day happiness of being here. You never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. You could be in a car wreck and life could be gone. So smile in the moment, because tomorrow is not insured. Conquering life's struggles, Moses' art has revealed the miracle of life to him. As his motto states, art soothes the soul. This is Alasia Navor from Chiefest Kamakahela Middle School for Hiki Now.